Okay. okay. You're Excuse rolling. Me. Hi. How you doing? Uh, doing very well. Room. What did you want to talk about? We can talk about anything. Uh, how are you? You know, uh, pr- pretty good. We've been we've been really busy here. Stuff's going very well. We're we're shooting a scene with uh, with you and Stephen today. And from what I understand, you're going to fuck each other. <laughs> yes, we are. And uh, it's going to be directed by the one and only John uh, Tegan. And um, uh, tomorrow, I guess, we're shooting you with uh, some... We won't name names, but... Uh, a big one. He's big. <laughs> big in many ways. And, un- and uncut. Big and uncut. Bigger, longer, and uncut. You know? I love right. that we're doing this interview... And with I, two douches in your hand. And two animas. animas. Well, well, douches, 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 douches go up your vagina. Um, I made that <laughs> mistake once. Um, but Oh, you know what? Let me tell you my, my favorite um, enema story. Um, I, was, I was in uh, Australia, and we were shooting uh, a frat men movie, and I needed to... What, what, our, our bottom uh, had this really dark tan, but he had this one white spot on him which we couldn't figure out why, and it turned out to be... It's bacteria from a tanning bed. Or something. I don't know what it was. But whatever it was, he had this one white spot on it. And we needed to get waterproof makeup because the scene was starting out with him swimming under the pool and we were shooting him from beneath. Um, So I had to take him to this little drugstore where we... You know, I mean, it's me, and then this 18-year-old guy with this stunning body, and I'm sitting there getting makeup on him. And it was like an hour with us mixing different until we found the proper waterproof makeup. And then I said to the woman at the counter, I'm like, um, and now I need to get a couple of fleet animals, please. And I'm like, okay, well, to get that, or, you know, the big Australia, I can't do Australian accents. So she sends me to the counter because apparently in Australia to get one of these, you either have to have a prescription for it or you have to have a consultation with the chemist. So, what? Oh, yeah. So I had to stand there for five minutes while the chemist explained in very loud voice, reverberating through this drugstore, how I'm supposed to stick this up my arse and clean it. At this point, I'm like, can that hole please just open up in the ground and swallow me? And that was really bad. And then um, once that was all done, of course, um, I, I then said, okay, and now I need a tube of KY jelly, please. At which point he looked at me, he looked at this, he looked at the um, lube, <laughs> looked at the guy that was with me and just kind of nodded. Realized the whole situation. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, but it gets worse. So then I'm standing there at the cash register waiting in line with makeup, two fleet enemas, a tube of KY jelly, and I get to the front and I give them my credit card and that was the moment. <laughs> I see you. Um, oh. And that was the moment that American Express decided to uh, cancel my card because they couldn't figure out why someone was spending thousands of dollars in Australia because I was bankrolling the whole thing. Um, and, uh, and so I'm just standing there, and everyone kind of looks at me, and I just went, confused. He says, nah. That was the most humiliating moment um, of the last 15 years. <laughs> so, so there you go. So uh, you boys stick these up your assholes, and uh, we'll get into the studio. All right. All right. Let's go.